In this tutorial, I will show you how to speed up games on your slow PC using the free app named Game Booster. I just want to note before I start the tutorial that this does not work miracles on PCs that fall well below the minimum system requirements of the game you want to play. So if you have a PC that's a little on the old side and it doesn't even come near meeting the requirements on a game, this will not help you move on. This tutorial is for computers that barely meet the minimum requirements of a game at the edge or they fall just a little short on CPU, graphics card, or RAM. So if that's you, or if you pass the minimum requirements but you want to see if you could achieve a little bit more frame rates, check out this tutorial. First, go to google.com and type in Game Booster. G-A-M-E-B-O-O-S-T-E-R. Then go to this site. Oh, by the way, Game Booster is made by the company IOBit. So that's why we're going to their site for Game Booster. Click here to download it. And it'll take you to another page. Then click download. And download that to your PC. Once it's downloaded, close your browser. Then double click it. Click run, next, accept, next. You could check or uncheck these. Click next. Install the free Albit toolbar. All decline. Nope, nope, nope. If you hit this, it will launch it automatically or if you chose to create a shortcut to your desktop, it will create these shortcuts. Click this one. All you really have to do now is just click this big old button and run your game. I'll show you how to further configure it. This will show you different processes in applications running in the background that you could disable. The more you disable, the faster it should go. And tree that has to do with my NVIDIA graphics card, I'll just leave that. I'm currently using this program to record this tutorial, so of course I'm going to leave that. But normally, if I'm playing a game, I would check this. I wouldn't want to use, or I wouldn't want to leave this open while I'm playing a game. This has to do with the control pad I have, or actually it's a keypad for the game, so I want to leave that since I want to have access to my keypad while I'm playing. This I could check while I'm playing. Bluetooth, if you have a Bluetooth headset or anything that has to do with Bluetooth, like a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard, leave this unchecked. But if you have nothing Bluetooth running like I do on my computer, I just check this. Logitech, leave that. I have a Razer mouse. I would, I want to leave this checked. USB 3.0. I'm not using anything that's USB 3.0. Um, please know this list might be totally, or actually, it probably will be totally different on your screen than mine. I'm just giving you examples by using my own computer. Textbooks. This has to do with the program I'm using to run the tutorial, but normally I would check that. Get okay, on to the next one. And also note that it already checked a lot of stuff for you. Leave those things checked. I'll leave this unchecked. Internet device, that's like a mouse keyboard. Leave that unchecked. Themes, definitely check this. I don't care about the theming in Windows while I'm playing a game. I don't need the use of Adobe Acrobat while I'm playing the game. Bluetooth, I don't care about while I'm playing a game since I do not have a Bluetooth headset or Bluetooth mouse keyboard. This is my sound card, so I'll leave that. Cross loop, check that. Check this. Leave NVIDIA, my graphics card. You could check this. Logitech, I'll leave that. 
Well, definitely, whatever you do, do not check this. I did in the past just to see what it'll do. And it's hard to access your taskbar, and it really just messed me up. So do not check that. You check this. Then when you are done, click apply. When you are done configuring, all you have to do is just click this big old button, start boost. Then it will count down in seconds until it goes to the system tray. Once it minimizes, all you have to do now is just launch your game. So open up whatever game you want to play. And when you are done with the game, all you have to do is just go down here to your tray, right click, back to normal, or back to normal and exit. And for future reference, this link right here will automatically launch it when you want to go straight to gaming. If you have any comments or questions relating to the video you just saw, or if you have any comments or questions relating to any of the videos you see on the ClearTech Info YouTube channel or our new ClearTech Info gaming channel, just scroll down. Right here will be a link associated with that specific video. All you have to do is just scroll down, click on add new comment, and just type your name. Or if you don't want to type your name, just add a number. Any random number will do email address then definitely put a subject and give as much detail as you can click preview and then after that submit and we'll get to you as fast as we can for more tutorials tips tricks and advice on computers internet and PC gaming go to cleartechinfo.com